how's everyone doing? So I know it's the middle of the day. Most of you guys are running around. I don't know about y'all, but these days seem to be passing so fast. I literally feel like I get into my store and then it is five o'clock. So I have small kids at home. I have two toddlers, so I have to be home at a certain time. And actually my biggest struggle right now is getting childcare. <laughs> So I'm passing it off to neighbors and family and friends just to have someone watch my kiddos so I can work. So a lot of people have reached out to me. I do do live videos. I don't have my hooker lipstick on today. <laughs> the red that Neil um, thinks that he can handle. I don't know. I am gonna find a tube to send him, but Mac and everybody are backlogged forever. So anyway, how is everyone doing? I know it's the middle of the afternoon. I wanted to take just a few minutes and show you guys something really, really easy. Somebody came and visited me before all this stuff happened and she was laughing because she walked away. We'd been in my back room for like 15 minutes and she goes, oh my gosh. She goes, I I don't know why I made shipping such a big deal in my head, but I did. And she goes, it's, it's not that big of a deal. We ship on average right now. Our stores are closed. Both my locations are closed and I am working out of one location. I have one other employee working with me. She's listing on the website and I am doing live videos. And then I have one girl who comes in and she's invoicing from home and she comes in odd hours, like throughout the week, a couple times a week and she ships everything. And this is it. This is, my office of shipping. So a lot of people, um, hey, Krita, Neil, and Colleen. Colleen, thank you so much for the info. So I already called them. They're going to give me a buzz back and let me know. I was actually talking about shipping this morning on a much bigger scale, although Colleen just blew me out of the water because, you know, she's like, oh, are you shipping an armoire? I'm like, no, I'm shipping a box for 86 pounds. She's like, <laughs> so Colleen is a wealth of information for shipping and online and, you know, Shopify. So so as far as shipping, we're shipping right now on average about 70 to 100 items a day, 70 to 100 packages, sorry, 70 to 100 packages a day right now is what we are shipping. And I just wanted to show you that it's not nearly as scary, I think, as a lot of people think it is. And you don't need, you do not need a shipping supply office. I am in my office, which basically if it could connect to the bathroom, it probably would be more beneficial. I'm, I have a sink here. I have my computer here and the office is literally the width of my arms band. That is it. This is the shipping department, the whole shipping department. Look at that. Woo. So fancy. This is what we ship every day, 75 to hundred packages with that's it. I have. And by the way, this was very expensive. It was almost $35 at uh, home Depot and we have put her to good use. You know, we put her together with a hammer <laughs> and um, so what we do here is we just keep it really really simple I have so here's my computer this is the computer um, where I print my labels from I do not have a label printer I know a lot of companies do we just haven't gotten there we're not that fancy we just use the big sheets I order from eBay or wherever there's two stickers you can see the sticker right there um, on each one because I use Shopify or eBay or PayPal or whatever it is I've shipped out of and you can usually print that. And don't worry, I'm gonna print one for you because I know a lot of people wanna see that, what that looks like. But I just wanted to show you my shipping station is really, really very chill. And then this is my sink slash weight center. So I've got this weight right here. Now, I know you can get the ones that are attached. I have mine that's separate because if I need to put it on the floor for like a really heavy box or something, it just makes life easy. And I can have this and pull it away. So I can see this over here, even if the box is kind of like retarded, I can put that on there and then I can see, oh, that's 1.2 pounds, you know, so that just makes life easy. So as far as my shipping is concerned, like truly and honestly, this is all eBay, um, Amazon or Uline purchasing. Um, it just makes my life simple. Um, I am that dork that goes to Costco every year. Like a minute they put out all the Christmas stuff, I am there <laughs> getting I sincerely fill up my van with their tissue paper. And let me tell you why. Not only is it super cheap, it is the perfect size to ship. You can actually see a piece underneath here. It's the last one I have left, but it is literally the perfect wrapping size. Cause otherwise if you wrap clothes like this, like you have to almost like pull two pieces this way and two pieces and it, it's my, Costco is my dreamland, but they only sell it during Christmas. I've called corporate to ask them if they'd sell it to me year round. And they're like, no, I know I'm no, I'm their board somewhere where they're like, there's some weird girl who wants our tissue paper. That's me. So this is the tissue paper. I have a couple different types of bags. I get whatever is on sale. I prefer, you know, I do prefer personally, um, printed bags, 
not for any particular reason. That is simply my personal preference. I probably pay a cent more a bag for that. I go on eBay or Uline or just see whoever's got a cheap bags and I order them by $100 at a time. This one says thank you and you can see there are different sizes and I'm like that ADD person. I just order whatever looks really cute and whatever fits. So, so this one is what we call the one item thing and if it's a shoe size under a size 7 you can ship it otherwise you know so we kind of know and we order from the same companies over and over. This one right here which is like 12 by 14 is probably the one we use the most. It's just really easy. Now um, and then I've got random. These are like the middle size so this is what we call the all, all size shoes can fit in that, including a shoe box. And like that's really important when you're shipping a shoe box. And then I've got another one. I do have the large ones, which I use quite often. This is what I call the Mac Daddy one. This is huge. It's a 24 by 24. It does cost a little bit more. But when we're shipping huge jackets or we're shipping um, a large purse, this is what it goes in. Now, I already know what some of you guys are going to say. <gasps> You ship stuff in poly bags? You don't ship everything in boxes? Uh, no. That is a personal preference per store. I know a lot of stores that only use boxes and they are super fancy and I totally appreciate it. I cannot ship that much in boxes. We did a cost comparison and it was insanely expensive. But, but, all that to say, we did splurge and get this. And my awesome graphic designer put this together. Um, this is my box. You see that right there? It's a box. You put it together. And this is what they see when they open the box. So for anybody who purchases a bag from me that is $500, not their order, one piece, the purse itself has to be $500 or more. They get this fabulous box. When they open it up, it says, love a little sparkle wherever you go. Um, I got, I, cause I got a whole new look and a whole new brand, thanks to Colleen and Richard. And then my girl locally took this and threw it on a box and we love it. She said that, um, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, but my local graphic designer said that she, she called me and she goes, oh my gosh, I found a picture that emulates you completely. And that's what she sent me. I don't know if that was an insult. <laughs> so anything that's $500 or more, by the way, how much does this box cost? Let's be very clear. This thing is a beast. It's $11. This is my cost on this box is $11. Now, I only ordered, I think, um, $500. Obviously, the cost goes down the more that you order. I didn't want to order $5,000 because as far as, you know, I don't ship as much. Like, as Jennifer and Ellen ship, you know, $500 plus bags all day long. I probably ship one a week. You know, so if, I, if I'm if i really being realistic, probably 100 or less a year I ship that are $500 or more. A lot of people will just come buy them in store. So that's my splurge. That's something we decided to do for ourselves personally. Now, if somebody purchases sunglasses, um, I do have boxes down here because, of course, there's always going to be that person that orders something like perfume or sunglasses. And this is... Um, this is, I think this is eight by eight. So this box right here is an eight by eight and it just folds over, you know. Um, this is what I ship sunglasses and perfume or anything that's breakable. And then lastly, I have poly bags. I do get poly, poly bags that are padded. And by the way, do not go buy these at Office Depot. Good gracious. We did a cost comparison yesterday because we ran out. I just ordered a hundred of them. I ordered a hundred of them for $31.23 last night on eBay. And these were at Office Depot $1.27 a piece. I was like, I don't think so. So I just send something really chintzy like hair barrettes or, you know, a really inexpensive pair of earrings or just something. Or if I'm packing this box, if I've got a really expensive thing of perfume, I actually will wrap the perfume in this, fold it over, tape it, and then put it in this box if I want to be extra. So I'm just what I'm trying to say is, look, this is my whole shipping. All of this together, if I ordered, if you're just starting out and you're just doing live videos and you were to order a hundred of all of these, I would say your cost for the scale for a hundred poly bags, for a hundred boxes, for this, you're probably looking at $200 or less for all of this. And then add tissue paper, so maybe $225. So you can set up a whole shipping supply company in your back room. Don't make it a big deal. It doesn't have to have its own department. Until you build to that, it doesn't need its own department. And y'all, you know how much we do on live videos, and this is our whole department right here. So, you know, now let me, don't get me wrong. I've been to Jennifer's department. She actually has something that rivals FedEx, and it is really impressive. So, 
one day when I grow up, that's what I'm going to do. And then I have my super trusty tape. Um, there's this big argument. So the girl that comes into ship likes this one, and I hate it. So we have tape wars. <laughs> and then we are on the last roll of tape. I'm always stealing her tape out of her tape dispenser. So this is the one I use because I like it. I know. And then I've stepped on a few of them and it just crushes my soul because I can't stand. This one is like a whole fight. Like it, if somebody watched me on video doing it, it's just depressing to watch me. And then what do we put inside? So, okay. So I have stickers here. You see my, again, very expensive. Here's our stickers. I had these. Um, this is... Colleen's logo she came up with us which was awesome I have the cheapo stickers if I just need a lot of extra stickers and these are my big stickers so this is number one is does a lot of different things right it's so big that it connects the two pieces of tissue paper and it makes life happy also it is a good size that you can stick on stuff and it looks professional to be very clear, I do not put these stickers on the outside. I do not put any markings on the outside of any of my bags because, you know, people are crazy and they're stealing stuff like crazy off of porches. You don't want that on there. And then what I do is I do these two things, okay? So I have two postcards that go into every package that goes out, and it is basically, she who leaves a trail of glitter is never forgotten. Thank you for your purchase from us. And this tells them how to connect with us because obviously, now this is hugely beneficial for a couple different reasons. Number one, people are lazy and they can't even remember. I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you how many things I have ordered off of Facebook. I ordered a bra. I know the men are going to be like, oh, I ordered a bra three weeks ago <laughs> off of Facebook and I loved it. I have no idea where I ordered it from. None. So. Uh, I was scrolling last night and all these options were coming up, but none of them were the right one. Having this, it's, you know, I think it's 15 times. You have to be in front of people 15 times for them to remember who you are. Okay, so if somebody's scrolling and they see any of the stuff that looks like me, they're going to know this is me. So this is a way. I want them to connect with us. Also, I ship a ton on Tradesy and eBay. Poshmark and I got divorced. Again, I just can't handle them. But <laughs> for those of you guys who do well on Poshmark, congratulations. Um, Tradesy and eBay, how many of those people do I turn into regular customers because they will go on to my Poshmark or eBay account and realize that the prices are more expensive and then they go to my website and they're like wow I had a lady last year who found us on Tradesy she wanted this little tiny Kelly Hermes I'm telling y'all the purse was this big this big and we had it on there we had it in my store I think for twelve thousand dollars and I had it on Tradesy for like fifteen thousand or something because they take like twenty percent anyway so she contacted us to see if we would take less and then realized who we were and that it was cheaper on our website and bought it. So some woman I have never met who found me on Tradesy, that was worth any any time I put into Tradesy. That one purse for $12,000 was worth it. This is also the second thing I do, and this is probably one of the most important things I do, and you're gonna have to notice the hilarity of this. So I have review cards, and I've got tons. I ask people for reviews all the time, not the mean ones, <laughs> the ones that actually like us. and. Uh, my my girl that does my design work here in Atlanta, she's a small business too, said to me, Melissa, most of your clients are over 45 and they don't know where Google is and your reviews. Can you just let me do the review card the way I would do a review card? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Every She's like, no, they don't. Stop. <laughs> she's, six, she's in her 60s. Anyway, she got a whole meltdown about it. So she sends me this review card and she's like, look, there's pictures. So when I look, I know where I'm looking. So it has this whole thing, one, two, three, four, of how to leave us a review. So we went from 42 reviews on Google to like 150 reviews on Google. Not all of them are positive, but that is huge. If you talk about, you know, Richard talks a lot about Google placement and AdWords and, you know, reviews and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that is enormous. So this postcard, just this Tinky postcard, sticking it in all these people that we ship it to has increased our reviews like 10 times. Because usually the only people who review you are the people who are pissed off at you. So at least that's what we have found. So my whole shipping department, we got our stickers, two postcards, our shipping, shipping sticky paper, which, you know, we need to upgrade and get the little print. And then we have our tissue paper and our options for sizing. When I go over to my computer, 
and I just printed two really quickly and it should take you like 10 seconds you know shipping should not be a production it should not be a procedure you know you can see both of these were just items I just shipped one of them came off of eBay one came off my Shopify account it is really really simple I've actually got my Shopify pulled up since a lot of you guys are using Shopify and I know you can't necessarily see that as well but you know on Shopify let me see nope it's not going to show you so basically it's got the date it's got the time it's got the name and it's got who it actually fulfilled to so it makes your life really easy you can actually just ship straight straight through Shopify and there's a lot of different options that you can actually set up through Shopify so what I was talking to Colleen this morning was XP Express XP oh my gosh Colleen if you're still watching write that you know that website down I was on there oh X xpsshipper.com so I'm on there because I'm trying to ship I actually had somebody reach out to me yesterday which I think was pretty ingenious on her part she reached out to me yesterday and said listen I'm one of your shoppers I watch you I also am a posture and I resell on eBay and trades you this is my only income and now I have no way to make any income because I can't source I noticed that you did a clearance video the other day anything that doesn't sell on that clearance video would you sell it to me for a certain amount now that now the clearance video I was doing was 5 10 15 um, let's be very clear this stuff is older than I am and um, I just want it out the door I made like four or five hundred dollars off the rack that's sitting there doing nothing I'm gonna have to donate this rack before I reopen so she paid me 300 bucks to ship it to her well how do you ship something that heavy so that's kind of what we're trying she's like I will totally pay for shipping so we're kind of bouncing before between a couple different options UPS was too expensive USPS only goes to 70 pounds the package is 89 pounds so I'm gonna find a solution today because if this situation works out well I would have somebody and she paid me just to give you an idea she paid me like two dollars for just regular pieces and four dollars for nicer pieces with like new tags so again I made like what eight hundred and fifty dollars on a dead rack and now I have an empty rack to put some junk on so um let me see questions do you found it less expensive okay so Dina are you shipping through PayPal or are you shipping through Shopify? What are you asking for USPS? I will tell you the USPS.com website we only go to if we absolutely have to. We used to always ship through USPS and it is so crazy expensive. I mean, there's a substantial savings. I don't know anything about XPS shopper but I've heard it's a much better option and it gives you, you know, it drops down. USPS usually ends up being the most beneficial financially Terry all my shipping bags are coming off of eBay I just go and put poly bag p-o-l-y poly bag and just shop around the most important thing about poly bags is usually the cuter the bag the smaller it is so be really careful let me show you a bag that I have that I absolutely love um, so I have a llama room in my house a legit llama room and there's not a llama in it although if I found a llama to rescue I'd put it in it um, I love llamas I love this bag look how cute it is but you know that's gonna ship a handkerchief so I, I have it my employees were like here's your box of llama bags that nobody can use for anything but here it is realistically and like measuring this um, so this bag is this bag is 13 by 10 realistically 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 when you are shipping for looking for bags you really need something 12 to 20 15 19 it's got to be big hey Terry oh you're welcome I'm not nearly as exciting as Neil is but <clears throat> I can wear lace and he can't so I know Neil's probably watching or he'll harass me later about it. Um, okay, so I had just wanted to answer just a few because I know a lot of you guys are doing lives. Oh, and I wanted to tell you something else. So here's the deal with live videos. So we learned something last week that I would have never learned if this would have happened. So I do a live video, well now, every day, um, but I have started doing recaps. I'm about to actually do one when I get off of here with you guys. I do a recap. Basically, anything that didn't sell the night before, I do a recap, and it's like auction style. I literally blow through everything in like four minutes. I try to keep it at five minutes or less. I take that video of my recap, I post it on Instagram feed as an IGTV, Instagram feed as IGTV, and then I post it on my Facebook page. We are getting probably an additional 20% worth of sales the next day because of that. It is so 
awesome. I would have never known that. It was a fluke accident that happened last week. So if you are not doing that, you need to do that. If you don't want to do everything, then just pick your higher end pieces. What happens is, is a lot of people watch you. With a lot of our videos, you know, people watch us and then we've got so many hundreds of videos comments on our video and don't worry it's not because they're all shopping it's because they're bored and writing stupid comments but anyway they're writing all these comments so it fills the speed so people open up our our pages and they're like oh my gosh everything's probably already sold which in reality it's only like 40 to 60 percent that's actually sold or it's you know or less so the recaps, a lot of my people now are waiting for the recaps the next morning and then shopping off of that. And I mean, you know, yesterday I did, you know, like three to $500 off of a recap. I mean, that was amazing. I would have never known to do that. And since I've got you, cause you know, let's all talk about live videos. I gotta turn my radio off, so please hold on one moment. All right, so everyone's asking, oh my gosh, how are you guys doing all these live videos? Okay, I'm in my Marietta store, and it looks like a 15-year-old who's rich who can't decide what she wants to wear, so she threw it all on the floor. Um, okay, so this is my store right now. It is a mess. You can tell we got stuff everywhere. We're trying to, we're just categorizing it by what we have shown and not shown, but let me tell you what I'm doing every single day. Like, this is hysterical. So this right here, you're looking at my whole setup. Yes, sorry, we live on K-Love. Um, <laughs> we need some you know, something to keep us sane right now. So this is my whole setup right here. You guys can see my light back here. This is what I use, the ring light. Um, you have to be really careful with that because it will blind you. You have to kind of, and it also comes off of black and brown really negatively. So here is my setup and you can see my floor. I mean, this is super professional, y'all. Look at that, it got an extension cord with an extension cord, 16 different things to plug it in. So you will see, and this is from Joystick. This lady is awesome. She's a local lady. She just patented this. this this is Joy, J-O-I stick, S-T-I-K. And if you go to her Instagram page, um, tell her I sent you. I just love her. She's a mom. She's pregnant right now with her second kid. She created this. This is the most ingenious thing in the whole world. It can go up. It can go down. Okay, so she's got two types of this. This one does not have a ball. The one that I'm actually using right now to talk to you has a ball and actually will lean forward. So you see I have my iPad. So I stick a phone here and it clamps. It's the best thing I have found so far. And then it has another clamp right here and I can lift it. So this is how I can go live on three different platforms at the same time. It looks professional I've got my ring light behind me and you know you guys are able to see it's nothing it's not professional it's a hot bloody mess and then right behind me I've just got the rack so I'm just gonna stand here and grab off of this rack and showcase the items so I pull this rack then what I do is I send it over and put it to the side because that's gonna be my recap for tomorrow once I've done my rack I go over to my awesome person who stayed with me Megan so Megan's over here in this corner this is oh by the way this is our online studio okay it's not not hidden somewhere so you guys some of y'all who are, you know think that we have this professional online studio you're gonna be just so super disappointed so our online studio is in store so when you come in store oh naked girl sorry um, this is this rack of clothing which is not always this full although if we come in from closets it is this full this is right now there's Megan say hello <laughs> Megan is the best. None of y'all can have her. So what she's doing is she's putting all of this online and then the accessories. It is definitely messier than usual just because we're trying to function. You'll notice what Megan's doing right here is she is posting stuff on, and she can take pictures of herself in there with an item on there. We also have a second box here. That's that long Havoc, H-A-V-O-X. That box is $400 and it is worth every single penny. So what happens here is this allows me to have two people full time going every single day. Every single day they are shooting from this, like when we're open normally. So I have somebody doing accessories and someone doing clothing. That's what they're doing all day long. That's how we're able to fill. So what's happening is, is we're checking it up front Typically, I send it over here, they do it, and then I do a video, but right now we're doing it backwards. I'm doing a video first. So, again, it's not professional. It's not, you know, so this is my setup. I know a lot of you guys think it's something it's not. We did, 
almost 600 last year online mm -hmm, in dollars. And obviously we're gonna do more than that this year because basically for a month and a half or two months while we're closed, almost everything is processing online. Our regular sales are gonna be in the toilet, <laughs> but, but our online sales will definitely be up. So let me see if I have any more questions and I will let you guys go. Oh, we took all our displays down because we've been putting in into racks, you know, getting alls ready. Da -da. Russell, hi. Sorry, I know I was supposed to call you back. All right, so I will let you guys be. I was trying to make that like 15 minutes, but of course it went longer than that. If you guys have any questions, you know, this stuff is not nearly as hard as it is. Don't overthink it. Get in front of the camera and just say hello to people. The most important part is not to be back here. Nobody wants you back here. You get lost in this space, okay? If you are going to entertain people, and that's really your job to entertain people, is to get in their face and show them what they want. If you're going to sell this dress to somebody, you have to make them picture it on them. Look at this dress. It's gorgeous. It's got bat arms. It's got a cold shoulder. Oh my gosh, I can see myself walking on the beach if I stopped eating and stopped drinking margaritas. But if you're that person, this is yours. This dress is like $325 new. It's an Alice Olivia. We have it priced only for whatever, whatever. Look at the material. Look how beautiful it is. Next item. This is not a museum. Don't take two years to show them. Show it. Be in their face. Entertain them. If you really want a lot of exposure and a lot of um, feedback. I've been playing with this quite a bit since I've been doing this. So um, I have the wrong shirt on today. I don't care. <laughs> and the ring light, by the way, let's, I'm gonna show you the differences on me. So when you're looking at me right now, yes, you see I'm glowing now. Now see, I need my skin to look like this all the time. So the ring light, you can pull it forward and I'm gonna show y'all this so you can see. You can do the ring light directly at you, you can do it to the side. Now, if I do a black shirt or a dark colored shirt, what happens is if I hold it back, you can see it. If I go forward, it starts losing it. Whereas with the ring light, if I have a colorful shirt that's vibrant, you can really see the colors and the ring light really brings it out. So this is really important. By the way, my ring light was like $85. I know there's a whole bunch of options for like $100, $200, $300. Don't spend that much, you don't need all that. $85, $50 whatever on a ring light you don't need it uh, the ring lights that go on your phone the little teeny tiny ones unless you're doing like a tutorial that's like really up close I just don't think that's beneficial you know if you are just starting pay attention to your background this is not acceptable I've been doing this a long time my clients at this point don't really care if I'm picking up new ones they probably do but I don't care I'm too tired right now <laughs> but if you're starting this like start it right have a backdrop that's just simple or plain or get your cutest purses because you guys your stores are closed so you know you can move stuff around your store get your cutest purses and push them behind you you know like as a wall of purses or whatever it is if you wear bright colors it really makes a difference um, red is the color red and peach and dark pink blue is also a great color online when you wear it if you look happy you are selling items or educating people but really more than anything hey Jana you are giving them an outlet for what's happening in this world. You have to take them away. They are overwhelmed with their children and their husbands and you know their neighbors and their children. <laughs> So you have to give them an outlet. So even if you just go on here and be like, I have nothing to talk about, but I just want to see how your day was. I'm going to sit on the stool and let's just talk about it. Do you have any good gossip to talk about? What movies do you like to watch? What do you guys eat today? Do you have any good suggestions? I would really like to work out, but I don't really know a good workout for my obliques. Whatever it is, be creative. You're starting a conversation. It is super annoying because then you become like everyone's best friend, except you don't know them. But you also are creating this whole environment where they're wanting to shop from you and they trust you I cannot tell you how many times in the video and this is not perfection I'm like oh my gosh this is so cute it has a stain on it so we're not selling it you know or I'll hold something up and someone will be like oh my gosh there's a stain at the bottom so or whatever it is you know like you have to be real with people you know this is not a this is not QVC we have not pre-taped it like we are live and in color I say things backwards all the time last night everybody was trying to buy the Lafayette Jacklet which was really a Fisher jacket, but Melissa was tired and I was trying to say that it was like a Lafayette jacket and could, my yeah, brain. So, you know, and it's really nice when they do descriptions instead of doing the brand, they, they actually do Melissa's description and my girl who invoices, it's like Melissa's drunk description does not count. Oh my gosh. 
I do not take, I actually don't drink caffeine. Do you guys believe it? I don't drink caffeine. I know it's amazing. I don't drink any coffee and I don't drink any soda. So I'm just naturally crazy. <laughs> I am doing this new diet plan though and there's um, a whole bunch of vitamins on it which is really beneficial and there's this one in particular that is a relaxer. It's kind of like an antidepressant but natural and y'all it is the best thing ever. I'm like eating it like candy. So <laughs> just to keep from thinking of all this stuff. So anyway, so when I get off from you guys, I'm going to go do, I'm going to put, I'm going to do a recap of this if you guys want to watch what a recap looks like. So I will do this whole rack in probably three or four minutes. This is not supposed to be necessarily selling, it's recapping. So people, you know, I'm like Zach and Rachel, $12, Lily Pulitzer, $15, you know, whatever it is. So people, and I say to them, if you wanna see the whole item and for me to hold it up and showcase it and talk about the material, you know, you need to go watch my video from yesterday. I will say though, all these videos have definitely picked us up a whole bunch of new eyeballs because they're home and they're bored. And you know, there really is no time right now. You know, I, I know back when we were open, which I know feels like 10 years ago, there was always a time, 7.30 was like crack cocaine, which is still pretty good, but people are actually home. They literally have nothing to do. So you can do a video at any point of the day after 12 o'clock and you're gonna have a good response. The deal is consistency. Do not do a video and be like, oh, nobody watched me, I quit. No, do me a favor, do a video every single day, every single day, two weeks in a row, and then call me back and tell me if it didn't work. All right, Terry, how do people let you know they wanna buy an item? My people just usually throw something through the thing. So this is open to interpretation. Everybody has a way of doing this. You know, if you're a single store owner right now and you do not have the manpower to have your stuff listed online and send people online, there's a couple different options to do. If you are have the manpower or you already have it listed online, I know there's a lot of different ways people do this, so I'm just gonna speak to the way I do this. It's not necessarily the right way and it is a lot of extra work. It just happens to work for us. Kind of like that bad habit you have, but you know, you know how to do it really well. <laughs> So, hey Brooke. So, okay, so I will give you an example. This is a Zach and Rachel size medium, and we have a price at $14.99. So, Terry, if you wanted this shirt, you would comment right now in the, just like you're talking to me right now, with your email, Zach and Rachel, $14.99. If you were one of those people that really loved us, you'd be like Zach and Rachel, medium blue, $14.99, and your email. That way we actually go through, how are you doing, Brooke? Um, that way you actually were able to go through. Now, here is something that I can't fix. How many people do Facebook Live videos and people are offended because you didn't respond back to them or you didn't comment because you didn't see their comment? It's happening all the time. Okay, so we have no way to fix it. We've done tutorials on Facebook. We've reached out to Facebook Help. Um, I don't know any else way to fix it. So what we have actually done is we now tell people that we're not gonna invoice until after the video. Something happens, like what I can see on my phone and what my employee can see on her phone, and then once the, the video actually finishes and closes and what I can see on the computer is a whole different ball game. Facebook deletes or blocks or blacks out a whole bunch of different comments that all of a sudden reappear. And what happens is if we're doing it by timestamp, and that's what we say. So I PayPal invoice all my people, okay? So if, you know, Terry, you had put your email, Ray, um, Zach and Rachel, $14.99 top. When this video ended, I would have then sent you an email to through PayPal to you. I would have also included shipping in that. And once you paid your invoice, I would have shipped this item. And then you get a tracking number because PayPal follows all that. I do personally use PayPal because it is kind of a pain in the turkey sometimes, but it is a great tracking system. And if there's any argument, PayPal will stand behind you, which is phenomenal. Um, we do not... As far as when we're actually physically open, as far as pickups and all our stuff, we actually really push shipping. We prefer shipping. We do have a couple clients that pick up, but we prefer shipping, number one, because I'm not a storage facility, number two, because I want that tracking number. So if Sally says she didn't get it or Sarah stole it from her, whatever it is, I can be like, I did my part and PayPal's no problem. You did your part, she didn't get it, so we refunded her. You did your part, so we let you keep the money. That's happened to me many, many times. Um, I have not done that. I looked at it and I did not do that. You know, there's so much stuff that you can do now with live, you know, and there's a couple programs, although you have to have a lot of um, 
invoices going. There's a couple programs that you know you can use and you can pay to plug into your systems where if people like comment a certain way, I know you guys have seen that where you comment a certain way like sold, small, olive or something, it would automatically generate an invoice to you. We do not, we're not at that level and some of those systems when I've priced comparison, they just weren't worth it. So, um, uh, can you go back and watch? But how do people get to watch when you're doing same day announce ahead of times? All right, Terry. So Terry, I did not talk about that. How do people watch me? Um, I actually do a couple different things. Number one, I am like the most ADD person you will have ever met. I cannot schedule. Vina is probably the best person I have ever met at this. Vina is like the scheduling god. She has a whole schedule for the whole week. I, every time she posts a schedule, I call her and I'm like, I'm such a failure. I can't do that. I'm like, oh, I've had like a good day. So I'm going to come do a video at one o'clock. <laughs> and my customers are used to it. What's really interesting for us, and again, this is different for everybody else. I've had scheduled, you know, where I've had employees actually in the store and I've had them scheduled. And I mean, they do okay, but it's just something about the owner. People want the owner. I can do a sporadic video and do five times what my scheduled employee can do. So for me, I have just found, I'm like, ugh, whatever. We just, I can't schedule them. If I happen to know ahead of time, then I will go ahead and be like, hey guys, but what I do right now, since I don't tell people, first of all, you guys watch Neil at night. So, you know, you get that little notification on Facebook. And since everyone's literally living on their phones right now they're getting the notifications quicker which is good that's positive in your um, there is also a way revive um, does an excellent job of explaining to people how to get the notifications you know through they can set up so if you go to revive um, she does an, a revived revived she does an excellent excellent job Carrie does an excellent job of that um, and they have a whole thing set up for that. The other thing I do is I actually have a texting service that I set up with, and so, and I don't have very many people, a couple hundred people on it, but I text them before I go live. Hey, we're going live. I also try to be super engaged. So like the mess and the boxes and the shipping and like anything's happening, I try to post pictures all day long. I want people to be excited. I want them to be waiting. I want them to be asking what's happening, what's going on, you know, my gosh, look at this stack that just came in. Oh, it's gonna take me all day, I will let you know. So they're almost like waiting. They're kind of watching and checking and waiting so I really try to build that anticipation so I'm kind of like I do really well you know with the sporadic people <laughs> and Vina does really well with the scheduled people so it works well uh, I look at the camera eye if I look at myself this is what I look at if I'm looking at myself if I look at the camera eye uh, that's what it looks like so you see the difference if I'm looking at myself it almost looks like I'm looking down whereas if I look into the camera eye I am looking at, it looks like I'm looking at you versus, does that make sense? And then it's really fun because when I have three, three cameras, you know, I'm like, hello everybody, how's everyone doing? <laughs> Um, I cannot say enough to IGTV right now. IGTV is like crack cocaine. It's a big deal. You do have to be really selective with what you put on it. Um, and you can always take your stuff down. Remember that. It could just be temporarily. As far as doing a live video on IGTV, like live, that does do well to a certain point. Again, they lose interest really quickly. Unless you're like some big celebrity that they just want to see breathe, um, they're not going to stay on and watch you. So, you know, not especially if you're not showing like 25,000 Chanel's. And I don't know about y'all, but we are not getting any inventory right now other than people shipping it in um you know and they're not shedding me boxes of chanel's although i know consigning consigning what is she she's up she does a fabulous job of getting all her stuff shipped in i love watching her videos so if you guys don't have any more questions i will let you guys go i gotta get well first i have to get lunch that is a major production around here um we sit down i got those big pillows I ordered two big pillows that were $100 a piece. I never even thought that could be a business expense. It is. Um, I got two big ones so Megan and I can sit down and have, oop, <laughs> as people are trying to drop off. That's been happening all week. Um, so they just sit down and we have a picnic and it's usually fabulous food and we're trying to buy everything local restaurants around here because you know we're trying to support small as well and we have officially supported everybody around here and then we have to go run it off. So, all right, have a good evening, afternoon, whatever it is. I hope you guys found something interesting. If nothing else, it entertained you for a few minutes.